Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. I have not posted a video since around Thanksgiving and it is currently the last week of December, so we have some catching up to do. Here we are, last video of 2023 or maybe 2024 when you're watching this, who knows? But as a little goodbye to 2023 and everything that has happened in the crazy year, I wanted to make a little video about some things that I want to do differently in the upcoming year. I have them written down on my plan over here i don't know what to call them because they're not exactly resolutions so they're just kind of like goals that i want to accomplish strive for in the upcoming year these are things that i've been thinking about kind of a lot lately and i really want to start the new year with these goals in mind so the first one on my list is honestly the most simple and straightforward it is to read more wow crazy i know it's not very unique but i have a nasty habit of getting comfortable in a specific genre that goes for clothes tv books almost anything look at my room it's like all one color i like to keep things kind of the same so as part of this goal i want to branch out more so not only do i want to read more and spend more time reading but i want to branch out i love reading romance books maybe i can add in some fiction or some non-fiction or biographies, mysteries. I really like watching mystery movies, so I might like reading mystery novels, but I really just want to branch out. I want to experiment. I want to find out what I like, what I don't like, because lately I've just been stuck in this one specific type of book, and while I do love them, I think that it would benefit me to branch out more. I also love watching TV and that's just how I like to wind down for the day and I kind of want to change that a little bit so if I can replace 30 minutes of watching TV with 30 minutes of reading I think that would greatly improve my quality of life. I think it would also just make me more of a well-rounded person so can't really go wrong there. Alright so on to number two I wrote down be more creative. So this is a broad one, so just try to stick with me here. At first, I was thinking about it in what I am making, like putting out, whether it be onto the internet or making something for someone and giving it to them. But I realized this could also be for being more creative while studying, being more creative with outfits, being more creative with project ideas for school. This is a big one. But with the posting stuff aspect to it, I was thinking about being more creative when it comes to the kinds of things that I post. Because a lot of times I see what's popular online in the middle of the summer dorm shopping vlogs or anything to do with a dorm at all was getting so many views, getting really popular. So I thought to myself, let me make one. It'll get a bunch of views. What could go wrong? And that's what happened. But I was so concerned with making it seem trendy and making it seem like other people's videos that I didn't have as much fun with it as I probably could have if I was just being creative by myself. A lot of times I'm afraid to be creative because I'm afraid that people won't like it as much or interact with it as much as some of the more trendy copy and paste kind of things are. But I want to, like I said a million times, be more creative. If there's a video that I really want to make that I don't think will get very many views, I'll make it anyway. If it would make me happy to make and post, then why should I care how many views it gets? I should be creative, I should be having a good time with it, and I should put it out there. For example, I recently painted this. I think it looks terrible, but I had so much fun making it, and I hung it up because even though I think it looks terrible, it was really fun, and I'm kind of a little bit proud of it. So in like the real life portion of this, I guess, I was thinking about ways that I could be more creative in my daily life. Whether that be having a unique breakfast, making a drink from home instead of buying it, finding new creative ways to study because I'm going to have to do that a lot. So if I can find ways that are engaging to me and actually help me to memorize things, then why the heck not? I think with this one, the kind of overall vibe was maybe stop focusing so much on what everyone else is doing and do things for myself. If I think it's fun, if I think it will work, if I think it would be a good time, even if no one else has done it before, maybe I should give it a shot. So number three is, again, a big one, and it is taking better care of myself. And I mean that in so many different ways. So for example, when I get really stressed out, I tend to not focus as much on myself and my own well-being as much as I focus on the thing that is stressing me out. 
So if I have a really big test that I'm so anxious for, when I get anxious, I get nauseous. And when I get nauseous, I can't eat anything. So when I get really stressed and anxious about a test, I tend to not eat the day before because I'm so stressed out. So when it comes to something like that, maybe not forcing myself to eat an entire meal, but maybe some crackers or juice or an apple or something. When I get into head spaces like that, I tend to only focus and take care of the thing that is freaking me out so much. So if there's a test and I feel like I'm not gonna do very well on it, instead of taking care of myself and going to bed at a reasonable hour, I will stay up, not sleep, and then probably not do as well if I had just taken care of myself and gone to bed. I also want to focus this in like the gym because I have not been on my gym grind for the past while. Before I started going to school, I was going to the gym every day or almost every day. I would wake up at 8 a.m., I'd get ready, I'd eat breakfast, I'd go to the gym, I'd come back home, shower, and go to work, and it was like like clockwork. I would do this every single day. Maybe some weekends I wouldn't do it, but almost every single day. And once I went to school, my routine was just completely changed. I never set a consistent routine for the gym. I never made it a priority because I was so scared of getting bad grades my first semester that I was pouring all of my energy into studying and homework and all of that. Don't get me wrong, I would go to the gym like once a week maybe but for me that's not enough i love going every single day and i had a routine that was so amazing for me and now i have nothing i really want to take some time the first week that i go back to school and really just focus and think like okay on this day when can i go to the gym on this day when can i go to the gym and really just making sure that i spend time working on myself also with this i don't know if anyone else can relate to this but the food in my dining hall is not healthy it's not. This is a struggle because when I live here, my mom will go so far as to cut up fruits and vegetables for my sister and I to eat while we are waiting for dinner to be served. We don't even have to think about eating healthy food because the healthy food just comes right to us. When I'm at school, I'm so like, my mind is not on food. My mind is on getting my assignments done. When can I study? When can I do laundry? When can I see my friends? So I have like no mental energy to spend on meal planning or figuring out what the healthiest option is at the dining hall because to be honest, they're not usually healthy at all. I want to set a goal so that when I go in the dining hall, I'll say, okay, we can have this because I really want this and it's probably the only good option for that day. But I also have to have a banana on the side or something like that. And maybe instead of Sprite with dinner, we'll have a water or an iced tea or something like that. Speaking of iced tea, this also falls under the category of taking better care of myself. I cannot have caffeine for health reasons. It's very bad for me to have caffeine. But sometimes there's an iced tea that looks really good. <laughs> I need to hold myself back a little bit more. Hold myself more accountable because sometimes... A Coca-Cola looks really good. Shout out to my dad who did buy me caffeine-free Coke that I brought to school with me. Thank you very much. But sometimes iced tea in the dining hall looks really good. So I really have to focus <laughs> on taking better care of myself. So this next one, number four, kind of ties into a few of the ones that I've already talked about, but it is doing things for myself and not for other people. So whether this is getting dressed a certain way or posting certain things or shopping at certain places, saying certain things, like no matter what it is, I want to make sure that I am doing everything for me and only me. I feel like it is so common, especially when you live in college, which is basically just high school, but everyone is sleeping in the same building. It's sleep away high school, honestly, because you're funny if you think that college people are out of that high school mentality. Oh, that's not true. So I want to make sure that everything I'm doing is for myself, whether it be a trend that I don't partake in because I don't like the trend. Just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean that I need to do it too. Not to be a mom here, but if all of my friends jumped off a cliff, I would not go 
blindly following them. I want to make sure that everything I do, say, wear, post, everything is for myself. This kind of reminds me of the point that I talked about earlier about kind of being creative and not copying what other people are doing just because I know it's going to get a bunch of views, but it does start to get complicated because like I mentioned in another video, I was able to monetize my channel and so now not only am I doing it as a fun hobby, but I'm making some money from it. So it gets a little icky and gray because I'm not sure if I'm posting a video because I want to post it or if I'm posting a video because I think it's gonna make me some money. That is not a fun, weird, gray area to be in, and it's a little stressful because it kind of takes some of the joy out of this hobby. I'm doing this right now because it's fun for me. I love filming, I love editing, I love posting things, but sometimes I feel this pressure to make trendy videos or clickable videos because it's gonna make me money, it'll make my channel popular or whatever. This next year, I wanna remember why I'm doing this. Because I like it. The money is a nice little bonus, I guess, which if you do watch the ads all the way through, that would be appreciated. But my point is I want to start doing things because I want to do them, not because I think other people want me to do them or I benefit from it in some kind of way. I want to do it because my heart tells me to do it. All right, so last one on my list, number five, is give people grace. That is way easier said than done. I am someone who, when I get in certain moods, I can have not as much patience as one would probably like. Sometimes I get annoyed, I get angry, I get stubborn, and so one thing that I really want to do is to start giving people grace and giving people forgiveness and second chances and things that I would want if I were them. Obviously, everyone has a fuse at some point, everyone loses their temper, everyone gets annoyed, and I'm not saying I'm screaming at people left and right because that's not the case But I know how annoying that can be when I am on the receiving end of it because sometimes that's not fun either So I really want to have more patience Give people second chances <laughs> Maybe try not to be so set in my ways as I am Obviously, who does not want to be seen as a kind, forgiving, warm, friendly person? I want to try to take a breath give people the grace that I would appreciate if I were them. Just have more patience in general for things and just not get annoyed and ticked off as easily as I do. Just because sometimes that's how I am now does not mean that I have to be like that forever. One thing that I really like about resolutions or goals or just things that people try to look forward to and improve on is that you can literally create your personality. You can create who you are. You can choose how you respond to things. You can choose the words you say. You can choose everything. One thing that I really love about goals and resolutions is that it shows that you are working on yourself. I think that is an amazing trait and quality to have and I honestly think that it's really cool how if there's something about ourselves that we don't love, we can change it, we can improve upon it, and we can work on it. And I think that's kind of awesome. If you have not thought about any resolutions or goals, not even for the new year, just in life at all, I would definitely recommend picking at least one thing that you want to work on and one thing that would make you a better person. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if any of these goals resonated with you because I definitely cannot be the only person who is experiencing all of these things. I cannot believe that this is the end of 2023. That's kind of crazy. Stay happy, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye.